Trackball Mouse A trackball mice works on the opposite idea of a traditional mouse. Instead of sliding the whole device across a desk, the mouse stays still, and you control everything by rotating a ball with your fingers or thumb. Early trackballs used mechanical rollers inside the housing to read the ball's movement, but modern versions rely on optical sensors aimed at the ball's surface, which makes them smoother and far more accurate. Trackballs come in wired and wireless versions, with layouts ranging from large finger-controlled balls to compact thumb-operated designs. They also include extra buttons, scroll wheels, and even an adjustable tilt hinge that lets you switch between a flat position and an angled one for better wrist comfort. Trackballs mice became popular in specialized setups long. They've been used in arcade machines, military systems, CAD work, video editing, and any situation where stable, fine adjustment matters. Even today, they have a loyal user base, because they reduce arm movement and work well in tight spaces. Modern trackball also uses the same performance terms as regular mice, including IPS, DPI, acceleration, and polling rate, but not at the same high levels you see in optical or laser models. Since the ball is moved by your fingers instead of quick desk swipes, these specs are tuned for controlled precision rather than fast high-speed movement. They're still actively produced by brands like Logitech, Elecom, Kensington, and others. Mechanical Ball Mice The mechanical mouse commonly known as the ball mice, was the first type of computer mouse most people used. It tracked movement using a rubber ball mounted on the bottom of the device. When you move the mouse on a desk, that ball rolled and turned two rollers inside, one handling horizontal movement, and the other vertical movement. Those rollers spun slotted wheels as they moved. An infrared LED shone through the slots, and a photodiode picked up the light brakes to track movement. Because of this setup, these mice are often called optomechanical. Even though, people usually referred to them simply as mechanical mice. The biggest problem with these mice was dirt. Dust, hair, and hand oils collected on the ball and rollers, making the cursor skip or move sluggishly. Anyone who used computers in the 1980s and 90s remembers having to pop open the bottom and clean out the gunk. Even with this annoying maintenance, mechanical ball mice remained the standard for many years. Optical or Advanced Optical Mouse An optical mouse uses an LED, usually visible red or infrared, and a tiny camera sensor that captures thousands of images every second. By comparing the texture patterns under the mouse as it moves, the sensor calculates your cursor movement with smooth, accurate tracking. Over time, this simple LED design became much more powerful which is where advanced optical sensors come in. It's still the same optical technology, just upgraded with better illumination systems, faster image processing, and higher tracking speeds. These mice come in many shapes, like simple office models, travel versions, vertical ergonomic designs, touch or gesture-based models, and gaming-focused builds with RGB lighting. Many include extra side buttons, programmable controls, dedicated DPI switch, and different clicking technologies such as mechanical, optical, or Hall effect switches. Basic optical sensors are made for everyday use, their DPI usually ranges around 400 to 1200, sometimes up to 3200. IPS ratings are lower, often 30 to 40 IPS, acceleration support is usually under 10 to 15 G, and polling rates often stay at 125 Hz, and surface support is also limited. But advanced optical sensors push this technology much further. These sensors offer a massive range of DPI, starting as low as 400 and climbing to 42,000 or higher. IPS ratings commonly hit 300 to 750 plus, acceleration support reaches 40 to 70 G, and polling rates begin at 1000 Hz, but some premium models offering up to 8000 Hz. These sensors also handle surfaces much better than older optical sensors. Many advanced optical sensors can track on polished wood, carpet, and some specialized versions like dark field style sensors can even work on glass. Gaming-oriented versions simply take advantage of all this power. Some gaming models include large side button layouts for MOBA games. Some have a sniper button, or even small joysticks on the top or side for extra control. Some designs are truly unique, such as the Ragnarok Ergo Strike, which is shaped like a gun, where recoil and trigger behavior can be customized. Most gaming mice come with dedicated software and onboard profiles that let you adjust DPI steps, remap buttons, tweak polling rates, create macros, tune liftoff distance, and sync RGB effects with other hardware. Advanced optical mice aren't just for gaming. Designers, 3D artists, and illustrators also benefit from them, because advanced optical sensors provide fine-grained precision, stable tracking, and consistent cursor movement for detailed creative work. In the end, they're all optical mice. The difference is in how advanced the sensor is, how well it tracks different surfaces, and how many extra features the mouse includes. Modern optical sensors are so capable, they now outperform laser sensors in accuracy and stability. 
and that's why they dominate both high-end gaming and professional creative work. Laser Mouse A laser mice works a lot like an optical mouse but instead of using an LED, it uses a laser diode to illuminate the surface. The laser creates a much tighter and deeper light pattern, allowing the sensor to read very fine surface details that a basic LED can't pick up. This gives laser mice the ability to track on a wider range of surfaces, including glossy tables, polished wood, shiny plastics, and sometimes even tricky textured surfaces. Laser sensors generally offer higher DPI ranges than basic optical sensors, often between 1600 and 8200 DPI, and some models go past 16000 plus DPI. However, they do not reach the extreme DPI levels of today's advanced optical sensors. Laser sensors also offer better IPS, acceleration, and polling rates than normal optical mice, but still not at the level of advanced optical sensors. Because a laser reads deep into the surface texture, it can pick up too much microscopic detail, this can cause small jitter. And on some soft mouse pads it may introduce unwanted acceleration. Laser sensors also draw more power compared to LED-based optical sensors. Modern advanced optical sensors avoid these issues, which is why most gaming brands now prefer advanced optical sensors in their high-end models. Laser mice come in the same shapes as optical mice, and their features are also the same. Like customizable DPI steps, side buttons, programmable controls, adjustable polling rates, macros, onboard profiles, and RGB lighting all depend on the specific model. In the end, the real difference is the laser-based tracking system and its surface capabilities. 3D Space Mouse a 3D mouse, often called a space mouse, is designed for working inside three-dimensional software rather than controlling a flat pointer like a regular mouse. Instead of sliding the device across a desk, you rest your hand on a pressure-sensitive cap or puck. You can pan, tilt, zoom, spin, and roll the 3D model in real time. Older models used magnetic or inductive sensors, while modern versions rely on advanced 6DF optoelectronic sensing for much smoother and more accurate control. These devices don't replace your regular mouse, they sit beside it and act as a second controller for 3D modeling, CAD, architecture tools, animation software, and simulation workflows. Modern Space Mouse units come in both wired and wireless versions, ranging from compact designs to larger professional models with extra programmable keys. They remain popular among engineers, designers, and creators who need precise, intuitive control in three-dimensional space. Well, apart from normal mice, people have invented lots of alternative pointing devices too. For example, there's the pen mouse. It literally looks like a pen and you use it on a flat surface, just like writing on a desk. It usually uses optical or laser tracking, so it works very much like a normal mouse. Most pen mice are wireless and come with left and right click buttons, a scroll wheel, and a DPI switch. People mostly use them for simple drawing work or presentations. Another design is the joystick-style mouse. These mice works like a regular mouse and moves across the desk using an optical or laser sensor. The main difference is the shape. Instead of a flat palm-style body, it has a joystick-like grip, which some users find more comfortable. Feature-wise, it's basically the same as a normal gaming mouse, like programmable buttons, with adjustable DPI and polling rates. By the way, there are some unusual designs as well, such as ring mouse. These mouse are worn on a finger. Some of them work in the air, while others are meant to be used on a surface. Then, there's the foot mouse, where you control the cursor using your feet, usually with a foot pad or touch surface, along with programmable buttons. And then you have the gyroscopic or air mouse. With this one, you control the cursor just by moving your hand in the air. They usually come with standard buttons and a scroll wheel too. But, some hybrid models work like a standard mouse on a surface, and switch to air mode the moment you lift them. So yeah, all these devices exist, to give people different ways to control a computer beyond the traditional mouse. So, that's all for today's video. If you learned something new, make sure to like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel.